Hello friends, welcome to Gyan Gurukul E classes. So in our previous class we have learned about what is technological progress and how it impacts the production function of a farm, uh, of a uh, you know producer. Now here uh, today we will learn about the, what are the different types of technical progress. Okay, uh, the tech the technological progress could be divided into basically three types: capital depending, labor depending, and neutral. Okay, so first we will learn about the capital capital depending. Technological progress, okay. Capital defining technological progress. So in this type of technological progress, what happens that that once the technological progress took place, it basically you know increases the increases the marginal productivity of capital by more than the increase in the marginal productivity of labor. Okay, that means the increase. Okay, the increase in marginal productivity of capital is greater than the greater than the increase in Marginal productivity of labor. Okay, the increase in marginal productivity of capital is greater than the increase in marginal productivity of labor. And what would happen in that case? See, we know that the marginal rate of technical substitution between two factors of production, say labor and capital. What is the formula? The formula was that marginal productivity of labor divided by the marginal productivity of capital. Right? This was the formula. Now, in that case, if If the marginal productivity of capital is going to rise, okay, faster than the marginal productivity of labor, then definitely, definitely, what would happen that the denominator here, okay, denominator here going to be increased more than the numerator, okay, denominator here going to be increased by more amount than the numerator, and in that case, what would happen? The marginal rate of technical substitution would, would it would fall down, okay. It would fall down. The marginal rate of technological substitution between labor and capital would come down, um, you know, it would come down uh, continuously. Okay, as we, as the technological progress took place. Okay, as it increases the technological progress, uh, what would happen? The marginal productivity of capital would increase beyond the marginal productivity or increase in the uh, marginal productivity of labor. As a result, what would happen? This would lead to the Fall in the marginal rate of technical substitution. Okay, this would lead to the fall in the marginal rate of technical substitution. And in diagram, if we try to draw it, it will look like some hard this. Okay. Now the diagram, if I uh, try to draw this capital depending uh, technological progress, if I try to show it in diagram, then it would look like somewhat like this. See, uh, let me draw the diagram first. This is the y-axis. Okay, this is our x-axis. Okay. Uh, let me denote it as labor, and this is capital. Okay, labor and capital. So, before the technical progress took place, uh, the first uh, let me draw a straight line from here. Okay, let me draw a straight line from here. This is a straight line. Uh, now, throughout this line, okay, throughout this line, the capital labor ratio is constant. Okay, throughout this line, the capital labor ratio is constant. Now, initially, suppose the producer was at the Indifference curve, uh, sorry, not indifference curve. At I sub one, I one. Okay, the initially the producer was at I one. Clear? At I one, at this point, his marginal rate of technical substitution was this one. If I have to draw a straight line here, tangent to it. Okay, this was his marginal rate of technical substitution. Clear? Then, then what happens as technical progress took place? I have already told you the technical progress would uh, lead to the increase in marginal productivity of capital more than the marginal productivity of labor and as a result the mrs sorry the mrts mrts lk would fall okay the mrts lk or the slope or the slope of the slope of the isoc1 would fall right so uh, let's take a point here okay uh, now let me draw a new new isoc1 through this point okay let me draw a new isoc1 through this point say this is the isoc1 okay let me denote it as i2 Okay, now I two, I have reached the ISO one I two once the technological progress have took place. Okay, once the technological progress took place, then I have come to I two. See, both I one and I two is representing the same level of uh, output. Okay, I one and I two is representing the same level of output. Clear? Now at this point, okay, at this point, if I try to uh, find out the MRTS, okay, if I try to find out the MRTS, then it would look like this. Okay. Uh, this is not the perfect one, so let me try to draw it again. This have to touch this point, okay? It have to touch this point here, 
right the slope has to touch this point okay uh, this is more or less it has uh, okay i can say this, this is the tangent okay this is the tangent line uh, like this this tangent line this is also a tangent line okay now if you see the mrts okay the mrts lk at this point let me denote this point as e2 and denote this point as e1 okay the mrts lk at the point e2 is less than okay mrts lk at e2 is less than the mrts lk at what at e1 see the mrts lk at e2 is less than the mrts lk at e1 why because if we try to see these two lines these two straight lines i have uh, you know draw uh, making this a tangent with uh, the isoc1 i2 and isoc1 i1 see this straight line is more steeper okay this straight line is more steeper than this one this is little flatter so that means that the mrts lk at e1 was higher okay and what we have told we have already told that capital depending technological progress with reduce the mrts lk and that's what have happened here right that's what has happened here further if we uh, further increase the technological progress that would again uh, uh, move us to a new new isoc one say this one okay say this one this is i3 now i3 is also representing the same level of output right i3 is also representing the same level of output because of further technological progress okay further technological progress now at this point if i try to draw the sorry if i try to uh, find out the mrts mrts lk okay to find out the marginal rate of technical substitution this would be further flatter okay this line is further flatter than this one and this one clear so that means that in case of uh, capital depending technological progress we have to remember uh, mainly two things first thing is that the marginal rate of sorry the marginal product of capital increases more than the marginal product of labor and as a result what happens the marginal rate of technical substitution between labor and capital falls okay it falls clear okay one more thing see this falls if we take uh, uh, if we take the absolute number or the uh, if we take the module of the number right see what is, what happens in modules let's say i am taking the module of minus 4 that means it is plus 4 right it is plus 4 so if we take only the you know only these absolute values only we can say that the mrts lk is decreasing sorry uh, yes uh, if we say that we are taking the absolute value only then we can say that the mrts lk is decreasing but other way if we say other way if we say then we can also say the mrts lk is increasing if we take the actual negative value because see this relation between uh, labor and capital is a negative this mrts lk is a negative value okay the mrts lk is actually showing a negative value right from here i can uh, we can assume that say at this point okay at this point the mrts lk was minus 5 right then when we come to this let's say mrts lk have decreased to minus 3 and further at this point mrts uh, lk have decreased to minus 2 see if we say if we take only the absolute values the module values only then we can say that the mrts lk is decreasing or otherwise if we say that we are taking the uh, exact values that is the negative sign if we take the negative sign then we can say that is mrts lk is actually increasing why because minus 3 is greater than minus 5 similarly minus 3 is greater than minus 3 right in that sense we can say it is increasing okay so actually you have to remember only one thing and that thing is capital depending technological progress increases the marginal productivity of capital more than the marginal productivity of labor right now let's move to the labor depending technological progress okay the labor depending technological progress right labor depending technological progress what happens here here the same thing the increase in marginal productivity of labor is greater than the increase in marginal productivity of capital okay the increase in marginal productivity of labor is greater than the increase in marginal productivity of labor now what will happen to mrts see mrts lk let's write a formula uh, it was marginal productivity of labor by marginal productivity of capital clear now as the marginal productivity of labor is going to increase by more than the amount of increase in marginal productivity of capital that means that the numerator this time is going to be higher than the denominator all the time okay Th this numerator is going to be higher than the denominator all the time and as a result as the technological progress took place and took place as it increases and increases 
what would happen the mrts lk it would increase further and further right the marginal rate of technical substitution would increase further and further okay now let's uh, see it with the help of a diagram okay so this is labor right this is capital and let me take the same capital labor ratio showing by this straight line okay it is representing the particular uh, capital labor ratio at all the time now what happens here here we will see that the capital uh, the, the marginal rate of technological substitute would increase with, as a result of as a result of increase in the technological progress okay as a result of technological actually uh, as technological progress took place okay so initially suppose it was in this okay at this point okay this one is i1 right i1 now at i1 what was the marginal rate of technical substitution it was this okay by showing by this line this is tangent to this okay it is not actually tangent in this diagram but um, <laughs> you imagine that it is the uh, tangent line through this uh, at this point okay if when you you draw it you draw it with uh, a proper scale and other equipments then it would be great i am doing it freehand so this is not perfect one but say this is the this one is representing the marginal rate of technical substitution between labor and capital at this at this particular point with i1 okay now as technological progress took place what would happen we would come to a new we would come to a new isocon let's denote it as i2 now see i1 and i2 is representing the same level of output okay it is representing the same level of output but why the i2 is lesser at a low point than l1 uh, sorry why it is at a lower point than i1 because technological progress have took place right now with the less and less amount of labor and capital we can produce the previous level of output as well clear now at this point see at this point if i try to draw the uh, tangent tension curve okay if i try to draw the tangent curve see this this one now this one let's denote these all these points is e1 e2 okay similarly further if technological progress took place then let's say we get a new isocon say i3 now at i3 this one is the this one is the sorry now i3 the marginal rate of technical substitution is denoted by uh, this very curve okay this very straight line now see this uh, this is say e3 now as we move from e1 to e2 to e3 we see that the uh, that the marginal rate of techn uh, technical substitution mrts lk is actually increasing why because see the slope at e1 was flatter right then as we move to as we move to e2 the slope has increased okay the slope has increased further uh, and it become little steeper right and from e2 as we move to e3 now see at e3 the slope is further and further steeper okay so as we move from e1 to e2 and e3 the slope of the the slope at all these points is becoming more and more the slope becoming more and more what more and more steeper okay and steeper slope means higher slope okay steeper if i um, try to find out the slope of a steep curve that means the slope is high okay the slope is higher right so that means in case of um, uh, in case of labor depending technological progress the mrts lk increases okay here also we can say the mrts lk increases in case of absolute value okay in case of the when you take the mod modulus value only in that case the mrts lk is increasing or otherwise if we take the negative value okay if we take the negative value then in that case the mrts xy is actually decreasing right in that case it is decreasing clear yeah? now let's move further and see the last one that is the neutral technical progress okay now, what happens in neutral technical progress that the increase in marginal rate of uh, let me write it down here neutral technical progress now here what happens that the increase in marginal productivity of labor is, is equals to the mar increase in marginal productivity of capital okay the marginal productivity of labor and the marginal productivity of capital increases at the same rate okay and Th this is why what happens the marginal productive uh, marginal rate of technical uh, technological substitution or the marginal rate of technical substitute remains constant even if we increase the or uh, technology okay or even technological progress took place the marginal rate of technical substitution would remain same okay it would remain same constant right so diagrammatically it would be labor uh, here it is capital now let me draw a straight line so initially suppose 
it was here okay at this point right at this point what was the uh, the marginal rate of technical substitution was this line okay this this curve okay and this was i1 this is point e1 now let's move somewhat here okay uh, as technological progress took place now we come from i1 to a new indifference curve say i say i2 okay now what happens at i2 okay at i2 the the slope of the line is exactly parallel to this one okay the slope would be exactly parallel to this one okay that is the mrts the mrts lk at point e1 is equal to mrts lk at point e2 okay similarly similarly when technological progress took place further and further what would happen we say move to i3 now at i3 even when we take the slope okay uh, this this straight line would be parallel to this line and this line okay in the diagram it is uh, not parallel because i am doing it uh, freehand so it is not parallel it is not looking parallel but actually actually in case of neutral technological progress what would happen the uh, slope should be you know parallel that means the slope would be equal that is the mrts lk mrts lk even at e3 say this is e3 this is e3 this is e2 even at all the points okay all the points the marginal rate of technical substitution is constant it is not changing right it is not changing right so this is the three things okay this is the three things that is uh, in case of uh, in case of capital depending technological progress what happens in that case the increase in increase in marginal productivity of capital is greater than the increase in marginal productivity of labor as a result what happen as a result we see that uh, sorry as a result uh, we see that the marginal rate of technical substitution between labor and capital that decreases okay that decreases in absolute value okay don't forget to write that it decreases in absolute value right okay only when we take the mo uh, modulus then it decreases okay if we uh, take the negative sign if we take the negative sign uh, in that case the slope would we, we we can also say the slope uh, is actually increasing okay if we take the um, negative value then we can also say the slope is actually increasing because because we know in case of isoquants okay in case of isoquants the slope is actually negative okay it is decreasing because the relationship between labor and capital in case of isoquants it is a negative relationship right the relationship between labor and capital is a negative relationship that means any slope at any point if we take the slope it would it would always have a negative sign okay it would always have a negative sign attached to it okay meaning that the relationship is negative clear so in case of absolute value we are talking in case of absolute value the mrts lk decreases in case of capital depending right and then in case of labor depending what happens the increase in marginal productivity of labor increases more than the increase in uh, marginal productivity of capital okay uh, this is more and in that case what happens the marginal rate of technical substitution between labor and capital increases as we as the technological progress took place right it increases then the last one that is the neutral technical progress what happens here here the increase in marginal productivity of labor is equal to the increase in marginal productivity of capital and that is why what happens the marginal rate of technical substitution between labor and capital it remains constant it remains constant it neither increases nor decreases as technological progress took place okay so this is all you have to know about technological progress right uh, so thank you uh, the lesson ends here and uh, one request to you if you guys like our video then please hit the like button and share it uh, share our videos with your friends so that more and more people could uh, see our videos and also subscribe to our channel gan gurukul to get the latest notifications of our videos and also if you have any doubts and queries then please uh, comment in a, in the comment section below and thank you